Today's episode is all about the power of joy. When's the last time you did something purely just for the joy of it? Maybe you can't even remember. We need to fix that. Joy is healing, joy is crucial, and right now, especially now, I'm guessing you need less stress and more joy in your life. So, we're gonna talk about how to create joy even when life is so crazy, so busy, so stressful, so full of so much uncertainty. You know, a colleague of mine asked me, Susan, why are you doing this crazy road trip across the country and bringing a camera crew and everything? Like, what's the purpose of doing that? And I thought about it and I was like, joy, joy's the purpose. I wanna feel joy and delighted. I wanna spread joy, that's it. It's just that simple. The world needs more joy and I wanna bring it. So here we go. Oh, hey, I'm Susan Hyatt and this is Go Time TV and welcome to, for the love of Get your ass back in the RV. Welcome to the road trip edition. I've hit the road. We're going to a lot of my favorite places to talk to some of my favorite people along the way. Right now we're in Great Barrington, Massachusetts, Delaware, New York. Now we're in North Carolina. This show is all about getting more of whatever you want. More confidence, more success, more wind, more wealth, or maybe more adventure. Whatever you want, I want to help you get it. No waiting, no procrastinating, no excuses. It's go time! <laughs> One thing you might be wondering is, how am I supposed to feel joyful when the world is a total dumpster fire? People are dying, people are starving, there's COVID-19, systematic racism, and a million other problems. It almost seems rude to be joyful when there are so many people suffering. And here's my take on this. You are capable of experiencing numerous emotions on the same day at the same time, real talk. On a typical day in my life, I experience rage and grief and hope and joy, and that's all before 9 a.m. On a typical day, I'm gonna donate to social justice causes and write about serious issues that matter and work with my clients and cry because the world is so fucked up. And then I'm gonna ride my bike and have my favorite tea and lie in my hammock and experience a moment of joy too. That's life, Boo Berry you can make space and make room for seriousness and joy, for pain and hope, all in the same day. It doesn't have to be one or the other, it's both and. What I've learned is that the moments of joy are crucial because those are the moments that lift your energy levels and make you feel renewed and refreshed, so you've got the energy to do the hard, serious work. And that's why joy is so important. It's like the gas in your tank to keep you going. Okay, but this RV doesn't run on joy, sadly. We need to swing into a gas station and fill up. So we'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna drop some science on y'all. Have you ever heard about the Nun study? This is a famous study led by researchers at the University of Kentucky, a study that spanned many decades of time and it started way back in the 1930s when researchers asked a group of nuns to write a personal essay about their lives and aspirations for the future. They asked the nuns to describe how they felt about life. Did they feel happy, hopeful, passionate, purposeful? Did they experience joy regularly or did they feel anxious, discouraged? Most of these nuns were in their early 20s at the time, and researchers continued to track the nuns for more than 70 years before finally releasing the study results a few years ago. Ultimately, the researchers found a very strong connection between joy and longevity. The most joyful nuns lived seven to 10 years longer on average than the least joyful nuns who I think I had in Catholic school growing up, let me just tell you. So 54% of the happy joyful nuns reached age 94 and only 15% of the unhappy cranky ass nuns reached that age. Similar studies have been conducted on all kinds of people, not just nuns, and the findings are the same. We've got scientific evidence, people. Joy is good for you. Joy makes you healthier. 
Joy extends your lifespan, sometimes by a whole decade. Joy is powerful medicine. And the best part is, Joy is free and available to you 365 days a year, 24 seven. What's one way you could bring joyful feelings into your life today? Quick tip, do you ever feel like, I don't even know what makes me feel joyful. Netflix, I guess. I can't think of anything else. I challenge you to make a list of seven small things that bring you joy. Make a joy list. Netflix can definitely be on your list, but it shouldn't be the only thing on your list, all right? So maybe your joy list includes coffee, yoga, Lizzo, sunflowers, looking at photos of puppies, reading, watching makeup tutorials online and practicing, that's a new one for me, puzzles, doodling, gardening, hiking, texting your BFF, or something else. Put your joy list on your phone, fridge, desk, or wherever you'll see it often, and then try to check off something from your joy list every day, seven days in a row. This is so simple but it seriously changes your mood, your life, your energy levels, your whole life. Try it and watch what happens, boo. Bye. <laughs> Get the door closed. <laughs> it's time for the question of the day. This is the part of the show where I share a question for you. Yeah, you, the beautiful person who's watching right now. So here's our question of the day. What's the most joyful part of your daily routine? What's something you do pretty regularly, like every day or almost every day, that lifts your spirits? Post your answer down below in the comments because I really wanna see. We get ideas from each other, so post it. This has been Go Time TV Road Trip Edition. If this show brought a little positivity into your day, click the thumbs up below, do it, boom, and subscribe so you never miss an episode. I hope this episode has inspired you to create space for more joy in your life every day. Figure out what makes you joyful and go get it. Even if you're busy and exhausted, especially if you're busy and exhausted, fight to claim some joy in your day. You deserve it and you need it. Go claim it. I'm Susan Hyatt saying bye until next time. I'll see you at the next stop on my road trip. You only get one life, make it count. It's go time. <laughs>